So the country and the people managing the affairs of the country should do the right thing. Because I'm seeing that even the Yoruba people are going to come out in a mass. They are going to come out in a mass and lead the protest. But this protest, if they are going to lead it, what shall happen to other tribes? What shall happen to other tribes? And this is why the Lord has given us the calendar. Something must be done as quick as possible because the calendar is moving this February and the month of March. It was prophesied on the cross of a night when the prophecy was given here. It's not a joke because anything that the Lord is showing is something the major prophet of God. That's what I will go steady away and prophesy the way I see them because the spiritual realm is like a place where things display first before you talk about the physical realm because I so much believe in whatever God shows me in the spirit realm because I know that the spirit realm control the physical realm. So we continue to pray. We continue to ask the Lord to take absolute control because this is the reason why the prophecy that was given two, three weeks ago and I see where the people now engineer together and come together to remove the president and put another. I begin to ask why? And so the Lord said that, that prophecy that was given must also completely be shown to the people and go back to the archive and bring it out and uh, continue to pray about all of these things. Let the peace reign. And whosoever knows what's best, let's put our hands together and come together and bring what's best to make sure that we salvage the common masses and salvage the people who are vulnerable because uh, it is not the will of God that anybody should perish but all should come to repentance. We will pray to God to have mercy. We pray to God to show us another mercy and give us another opportunity that we may actually come out of all these frustrations. Anytime you hear major prophet of God prophesying don't joke with it. Don't joke with it. Know that these prophecies are revelations that are written in the realm of the spirit. The major prophet of God is bringing to the physical realm and continue to prophesy the way it is written. Because I'm seeing what's called the people now preparing and the rating ready to now, you know, come out in a mass. But we pray that the super ego with the, with the ball they're playing, they should bring winning. They should bring winning so that the people can rejoice. The people can be happy. And that's why we are giving them all the prayer and the backup. So because their winning will also make a lot of young men and a lot of people to be happy and to rejoice and dance and celebrate. Because when you rejoice, you are happy, you dance, you celebrate. It becomes a thing of joy. Because uh, the thing of joy is that people are happy. It is when the people are happy that we are happy. Somebody was talking to me, he said, Major Prophet of God, why are you so worried about uh, uh, how things are going in the country and all of that? I said, yes, because, you know, when things are going somehow, it is not the people, it is we the leaders. Because people cry to me every day. If, if it is about me, I don't care. I'm not subscribed to government of this world. I'm subscribed to government of heaven. And it is what heaven desire or design for me. That's what come to me. So I'm not part of, if you like, make a cup of rice or a spoon of rice, one trillion pounds. If I cannot have the paper money to buy it, I will command it to the realm of the spirit. And the angel will cook it from heaven and bring it and serve it on my table. And I see myself eating it because this is what's called the level of faith that we have grown. When there was famine in the land of Israel, that Elijah was the one that now prophesied that there should be no rain or should be no dew for three and a half years. Elijah was also affected. But the angel of God will come and take Elijah to the oak and put him somewhere and bring food for him. When the angel looked at Elijah, oh, Elijah need to drink water. They bring water for him. Oh, Elijah need to eat rice. They bring rice. Anything that he needs to eat, the angel provide for him and the angel will carry him by the eagle's wing. He will disappear with what's called chariot and move to anywhere. And if Elijah of old with the what's called the spirit of God coming and going as a prophet can do all of that, how much more major prophet of God that has and possesses the Holy Spirit right inside of me, I'll do more than that. Because that's what Jesus said, that greater things will you do because I go to my father when he was with the father right there in, with the father in heaven, going to the father and being with the father in heaven means that in the heaven he will approve whatever that we desire, whatever that we pray for, whatever that we ask for. We will control power, we will control authority and if it seems that a cup of rice is now one billion naira, the angel will supply to major, major prophet. But 
if the angels supply to major prophet, how about the people in the street? How about the common masses? How about the people of the nation? And this is why we are doing everything possible to stand in the gap and pray the prayer and give the support and continue to speak to people that matter, people that are in authority, that have the position to change and do the right thing, change their heart. Change their heart. The cry of the people is touching everywhere. The crowd, of the people is shaking. We, the prophet of God, the prophet of God is not happy when things are not right. So I, I, I cannot because uh, maybe uh, I, I can afford one cup of rice. What about people who cannot afford? So we want the, the people in authority to quickly do something new, do something quick, as quick as possible, because that is not what the people bargained. This is not what the people bargained. We are people of faith, and the people of faith, the Bible said, the just shall live by faith. What about the unjust? Our God is not wicked. Our God is not only good to the, to the, to the just and not good to the unjust. Our God is good to the just and also good to the unjust. Our God is good to everybody. Our God is good to everybody. So the problem here is that the men have become the problem of men. Men have become the reason why people cry. So God will not allow that to continue. The right thing must be done because if right thing is not done, God has something that he has told the major prophet. He said he's going to move and replace. Move and replace. So we must pray. Right thing must be done. We pray for the, the spirit, the enablement, the power, the grace for right thing to be done so that people can stop crying. People can stop crying. And in the area of also all the businessmen and all of that, if they know the way to give them landing, soft landing, let them give them soft landing, that businessmen can do their business and have what's called free hand to do their business. And how can they do business and succeed? The two business succeed when you make things easy for them and they now can import, they can pay lesser duty and all of that. And you see that people, businessmen who want to do business can do business and also succeed. We can transform everywhere within a short period of time if the enabling environment is given. We can transform everywhere. We can transform the country. We can change things. We can make things all right if the enabling environment is given. We can bring a super change, super turnaround, and everything will be all right. These are the thing and the reason why Major Prophet is also talking prophesying and praying. I want to pray for all the sons and daughters wherever you're watching me right now. I want to pray for you that no matter the storm, no matter the wave, no matter the happening here and there, the Lord exempt you. The Lord give you grace. The Lord give you power. The Lord give you ability. The Lord give you all that it takes to succeed even in the midst of scarcity. The Lord will give you access in the midst of no way or no way forward. The Lord will make a way for you that you move forward in the name of Jesus. Receive the supernatural grace that has been released unto all the sons and daughters. Wherever you are, let the grace embrace you. Let the grace take over you. Let the grace come upon you. Let the grace help you to climb the top and possess your position. I pray this prayer and the Lord will surely make it happen for you in the name of Jesus. God bless you mightily in Jesus' name. Don't forget the major prophet of God. I have entered the season of what's called the season of prayer. And this season of prayer is a season to continue to bless the people. I will continue to bless you. And from tomorrow, I'm going to do what's called one-on-one -on -one prophecy. So I can prophesy to you and also bless your life. Because the blessings of God is a blessing that make it rich and add no sorrow. Amen. I can't tell one if it and where they might can't tell one. I can't tell one if it and where my can't tell one. I can't tell one if it and where my can't tell one. I can't tell one if it and where
you are blessed. You go to the right, you are blessed. You put your hand, you are blessed. Whatever you lay your hand to do, God will not look at economy of the world. God will not look at economy of the country. God will not look at your color. God will not look at where you are coming from. God will look at the grace, especially the grace of your father in the Lord, the grace of major prophet of God that prophesy things that come to pass. I prophesy upon your life and the Lord will show you mercy and the Lord will remember you and the Lord will say to you and the Lord will catapult you and the Lord will give you what you cannot give yourself. Where there is no way, the Lord will make a way for you. Where people say nothing, nothing, nothing for you, God will make things, things, things for you. Where people never succeed, you will succeed. Where things are crumbling, God will make things to stand for you and God is busy walking to the blessing of your life, to catapulting you, to settling you, to granting you all your heart desire all your expectation, everything you ever dream or imagine or ask of the Lord, the Lord is making them to come to pass. And God continue to bless you mightily in the name of Jesus. It is well with your spirit, it is well with your soul and your body. And everything about you has turned around for good. And there's no failure, there's no disappointment, there's no hindrance anymore. For God has settled you in Jesus' powerful name, I pray. 